here in this video we are going to discuss about the difference between waterfall model e model and agile model the first basic parameter of difference is their structure we can see on the screen the basic structure of the all these three model is very different from each other we'll see all these three models in details in another video the second parameter of the difference is the flexibility to change we know in waterfall model there is very less flexibility to change because when work is assigned we can't change it in we model there is intermediate flexibility whereas in agile model there is very high flexibility to change the third parameter is simplicity the structure of the waterfall model is very very simple that's why this model is called as high simple model the v model is intermediately simple model whereas agile model is very complex model that's why we can call it as a less less simple model then fourth parameter is the cost in the waterfall model there is not that much parameters are included the work is very simple that's why waterfall model is cost included in waterfall model is very less whereas in we model the documentation part is there that's why this in this model the cost is included intermediate as compared to both models whereas in agile the model requires a particular uh, framework to implementation like scrum framework that's why the model has very costly model as compared to other two models here we will see risk as per the customer point of view if you want to uh, ch uh, do any change in waterfall model he can't able to uh, able to introduce new change that's why we can say there is very highly risky model whereas in agile model there are some chances to introduce uh, some change that's why we can call it as intermediate risky model whereas in agile model where are where we can introduce change at any stage that's why this model is called as very less risky model the next parameter is documentation here in waterfall model the documentation work is intermediate as compared to other two models whereas in v model the documentation work is very very high that's why we can call it as very high documentation whereas in agile model documentation is very less that's why less or negligible documentation there in agile model in the communication implies the communication between design and development testing etc stages the communication is very less in waterfall model in v model the communication is we can so say intermediate whereas in agile model the communication is high 